Hi Taurus, welcome to your June uh, reading. This is not going to be a 10 card Celtic cross like I always do. Uh, those of you who are new to who are new to this channel, uh, welcome guys. My name is Ayushi and I'm from India. And uh, today, uh, because I have um, like I wanted to make short videos for the month of June because I was actually planning to skip June videos. But then I thought that I'll do a simple reading, uh, which is shorter and it will also mean that you will have June videos. So let's see what are your pre uh, past, present, future energies, what you should stop or start doing in the month of June, what you should continue doing in the month of June and what are your strengths, weaknesses and advice. Uh, so let's see uh, what is coming up for Taurus uh, Sun Moon Rising. Uh, messages for June past present future energies what should they stop start or continue doing Taurus Sun Moon Rising June messages for the month of June 2018 strength weakness and advice I'm getting one card which is some of you are having problems deciding something like you're not able to make up your mind you are stuck between uh, should you listen to your heart should you listen to your mind or there is some very important decision that is coming your way so what are the messages for Taurus for the month of June 2018 past present future energies I am also getting that some of you are dealing with an authority figure uh, who is a boss probably and you are fighting your battle you are fighting your fight with them there can be some uh, unexpected uh, endings something like suddenly will happen and it will shift the focus and shift in the entire energy uh, so be mindful of that don't get aggressive and don't um, lose your calm is the message that I'm getting now let's focus on the uh, three card spreads I need past present future energies for toes same card came up again so past energy, present energy, future energy. Okay. Overall is you yourself Taurus or you are dealing with a Taurus uh, Virgo Capricorn person. You need to focus on your self love healing. I am getting that you are moving away from a situation which was not serving you or you are dropping the uh, burden of uh, all the negative thought pattern cycle because this is six of... Uh, Six of Swords, so you are moving towards a new horizon which is calmer, calmer place, you are moving towards a, uh, towards a situation which is uh, calm and not participating or aggravating or instigating anything that would blow, uh, you know, blow up or anything like that. I am also feeling that you are very ice cold, you are uh, shutting people out who are not serving you because you think that you have... Uh, been through a lot you feel that you have been through a lot of heartbreak in past so you are just stopping and you are not sharing your feelings in the month of June uh, karma or the wheel of fortune is uh, turning in your favor um, th soon things things will uh, change I think some of you are dealing with a, a three party situation here but anyway we are not focused on all those uh, stuff we are focused on the fact that um, your past energy is that you were fighting for something like you were very determined you were like i would fight for it till my last breath and you exhausted yourself you tired yourself in the process i'm also getting that uh, currently you're feeling like you don't know which way to head you feel very very trapped you feel that uh, okay you feel that uh, you your growth is being restricted you feel that uh, you are trapped in a situation which has no uh, no way like no exit um, and you feel that uh, that you you have done what you could have done pro everything possible that sh could have done you have done it but what i'm feeling here is that things are in your head like in present things are just in your head like you can definitely move out of the situation you can definitely change the circumstances but uh, because of the conditioning because of the because of the fact that you have been fighting and dealing with the situation for such a long time that you are not able to see that you can very easily escape the situation any moment you want 
these uh, these are very false fears like your false fears and insecurities are weighing heavy on you so deal with them like break the pattern and get out of it like june is about breaking the pattern learning how to uh, uh, not do what you have been doing for a very long time now uh, here i am getting the uh, ace of swords in future i feel that you are taking this sword to cut bullshit out of your life i'm also getting that eight of swords with the ace of swords is that nine of swords so you can have uh, two scenario here either you can take the sword independently and uh, you know get all the clarity you need and make a decision make a very clear cut decision or you can just add one more sword to your eight of sword and make it nine of sword which will which would mean that you are torturing yourself to death Uh, you are awake at night thinking about a situation over and over again so either you can add to this eight of eight of swords uh, this ace of swords and it will make it nine of swords which is a nightmare or you can just take this one sword which is ace of swords which is clarity which is idea new ideas which is uh, um, vision which is uh, which is basically speaking your mind which is basically you uh, not being afraid to voice your opinion so you just say it like it is in future you gain the clarity that you need and you break out of the thing that was holding you back let's see what is ace of swords so for some of you this is regarding emotion something was keeping you stuck uh, emotionally like you were feeling emotionally very vulnerable or you felt that something was not coming to light like there was some mystery especially regarding a earth sign or someone who was being very stubborn or someone who was being um, someone who is probably a child or a, uh, someone who is immature they are not listening to you and they are just in their own head like they don't want to focus on anything else they have a certain way of doing things and they are uh, like they are very single minded and very focused so they are not um, so you were having trouble with this person there were emotion involved with this person and what you are doing is that you are speaking your truth so which is why clarity will come and soon things will come to light and will come to surface and that is when you will be able to make that decision from two of swords from two of swords from not being able to make a decision to finally deciding to speak your mind that is how you uh, make your decision even though if uh, even if it is making other people uncomfortable uh, currently you are dealing with a authoritative figure who is like a boss which is keeping you stuck and you are very, uh, being very patient with this person currently like you are you are very patient with this person in future uh, like in past i see that you were enthusiastic about something uh whatever that you were fighting for but right now i feel then eventually you decided that you have it was not serving you or because of a fire sign person leo scorpio or probably leo aries uh, sagittarius you now feel that uh, it's weighing heavy on you like whoever this person is who is very immature uh, they are bringing you a lot of drama so you are feeling very burdened and you want to leave the situation uh, and or you have already left the situation in the past with this person whoever this is uh, it can be a leo or a fire sign or a uh, someone who is um, someone who is only um, like they are not very serious so you are you were invested in this person very emotionally now you have, like in past you have made a decision to leave them behind now we will see uh, what are your uh, what you need to stop doing and what you need to start doing and what you sh what you should continue doing so what should taurus stop doing in the month of june what are the messages for taurus what should they simply stop doing sun moon rising june messages what should they stop doing what should they start doing and what should they continue doing what you should stop doing 
what sh you should start doing what you should continue doing so you sh you are being asked to this is six of swords again six of swords so six of sword is about moving forward not staying stuck in a situation which is holding you back in negative thought pattern leaving it all behind moving to a karma horizon now what you should stop doing is wishing you you are wishing too much you are relying on your wishes too much you are all up in your head uh, you are making things up and uh, they are not going to come true just because you are wishing for them uh, you need to uh, also take action so start taking action and stop only wishing about things uh, it might not go in your favor especially if you are wishing for someone who is not good for you if you want this person back in your life stop doing that uh, what you should start doing is that you are getting the fool card i think you need to have a uh, uh, new beginning uh, you are being asked to start fresh from ground zero you should always be ready to take a leap of faith you need to have more faith in the universe just just uh, wanting things or asking things from the universe or just wishing for things is not going to help until unless you take that chance and unless you trust yourself and the universe truly from your heart like a child until unless you do all that you won't get your uh, desires fulfilled uh, don't be wishy washy some of you i am also getting that um, you are too focused on um, the past you are looking back a lot which is not good like you keep looking back every now and then you are just looking back looking back looking back for what reason i don't know because whatever is holding you back is not serving you whatever that you are trying to look back at it's only bringing you down so i am not sure why you are looking back and uh, what you should continue doing is i think you are researching on something uh, you are keeping an eye on something you are keeping an eye on an idea you have a certain idea you are polishing it i'm also getting that uh, you have a vision uh, you are making your research you are making your um, like you are taking steps to put it into a plan and you want to uh, communicate this to someone uh, so you are doing whatever it takes like you are preparing for a presentation or uh, you are just preparing your documents for something uh, it can be uh, legal documents for some reason whatever it is it will bring you a lot of balance and karmic justice i think some of you are just definitely preparing for a legal battle here so that is why that was coming up i am also seeing there are keys here so you are preparing something for something which requires keys and uh, i'm also getting um, you have uh, control over the situation like you have uh, gained control over the situation finally you could be dealing with a libra in future i'm also getting uh, uh, i'm also getting that you are finalizing almost finalizing something uh, with lot of um, like because you have taken charge of the situation so sorry guys i had to move my leg uh, uh, okay so yes you you had to be enthusiastic about something in order to uh, get hold of this thing uh, you needed to be very overactive and i'm also getting you will get uh, this accomplishment you will get by uh, by next full moon which is i guess in sagittarius this is a very sagittarius card as well it's like uh, you are on a horse and you have that wand because sagittarius is like that very proactive so you need to be proactive is what i'm getting and you need to take leap of faith so now what i'm uh, going to pull out more here is what are your strength what is your weakness and what is your advice for uh, the month of june 2018 for taurus sun moon rising strength weakness and advice you are again getting a uh, fool card here so definitely you need to take a step forward somewhere Uh, not a step backward don't look back if something from past is haunting you leave it in the past there is no uh, point of bringing it into your present or taking it along with you in your future it happened it's gone you can't keep torturing yourself with something that has already been done to you uh, okay so yes let's see what's coming in for uh, taurus what are your, your strength weakness and advice strength card weakness advice 
okay uh, bottom of the deck be four of cups so there has been some rejection or you are being asked to reject something that you are not liking if it, if you are not liking something don't finalize it uh, don't 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 finalize it if especially if it's with a taurus or a air sign um, which is um aquarius libra gemini don't finalize anything uh, if especially if it's a court case don't settle for less is what i'm getting here now what is your uh, strength is that uh, you are getting chariot so your strength is that you are very focused and you are moving forward you are taking everything in your stride and you are like i am going to move forward even if i can't see anything i am i'm pretty sure where i'm headed uh, because i'm trusting your, my inner intuition uh, and you are an, aligning your emotions and you are aligning with your uh, thoughts as well you are putting everything into picture and that is how you are uh, taking control of the entire situation and you are moving forward uh, again i am getting horse in my like you vision like i'm getting it so you need to be very active is what i'm getting especially before next full moon you will be feeling very energized is what i'm feeling your weakness is that uh, something related to some of you are in a court case and that is your weakness like i think you uh, are not getting what you want in a court case but still don't give up is what i'm getting here so or either with a libra person who is your weakness for some of you a libra person is your weakness and uh, you are not able to decide what to do with this person so you are in two minds about this person you feel blinded by this person whoever is this person that you are dealing with you want to make a decision about this person you want you don't know if you should listen to your heart or listen to your mind so i don't know what to suggest but uh, you have like all these cards they are blindfolded the guy in this picture is uh, their eyes are covered her eyes are covered and even the bird here its eyes are covered can you see it yes okay so when eyes are covered uh, when you can't look anywhere i think only you have to look within so your answer is going to come from your own soul so uh, don't uh, reject your spirits and uh, spirits voice and uh, trust your gut instincts with regards to the situation i'm also getting that uh, your um, advice is here that the decision needs to be made uh, with lot of deliberation do your research and uh, do trust your instinct i think for some of you this decision is about making home so where you decide to make home is your decision because this bird is sitting on top of a nest so don't make a home where uh, things are difficult because i see swords crossing so i'm feeling that uh, make a proper decision don't rush and uh, that is your advice uh, what is the blockage coming for taurus for the month of june blockage blockages for taurus quest so some of you are on a spiritual journey either you are denying this fact confusion or you are not being able to take out time for your spiritual journey or your quest or you are just ignoring it simply because you don't have time or you just don't feel like doing it because everybody else is not doing it so you don't want to follow your heart because everybody else is not doing it uh for I'm sorry guys I can't uh, if you are not listening to your heart I don't know what you are doing on this channel because uh if you are not trusting your intuition if you are not listening to your heart if you are ignoring yourself if you are ignoring your inner voice I am not sure what you are doing here on this channel especially when I say this channel I mean that tarot community because tarot community community and tarot is all about uh listening to yourself and not denying yourself not de denying your inner calling so balance your work life uh, and still go within go within to look for your answers heal yourself uh, you are also getting confusion as your uh, blockage so don't i don't know what is this confusion about but uh, let's see isolation so your blockage is also isolation if you are isolating yourself some of you uh, you need to go out and uh, interact with people because it is coming up as your blockage i'm also getting that confusion is about you not knowing yourself you not 
being able to hear your true voice because look uh, you are protecting yourself you are angry you don't you are not sure why uh, what are you protecting yourself from i think you are just protecting yourself from yourself and uh, because you don't know what you are and what you can do so you are standing in your own way because you don't know yourself is what i'm getting so take out time to get to know your true self like don't lie to yourself about things so that was your reading and uh, i'll pull one more card from the sacred revel because i pulled one for the aries uh, even though i'm running out of time guys please subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, that would encourage me so the message for you listen you got sacred fool i think last month you got sacred fool as well sacred fool focus on the light and the another card is against the grain so against the grain even if things are not working for you focus on the light focus on the positive and uh, focus on the light and also the card was sacred fool like have trust in the divine and every journey starts with a single step so if you are just beginning something don't get impatient and whatever you are thinking you need to write it down you can't just have everything up in the air you need to have a plan bye bye take care